ICSI stands for intracytoplasmic sperm injection. To put it very simply, what we are doing in an ICSI cycle is taking the female egg. Now the female egg is surrounded by a hard protective layer called zona pellucida, making a hole through the zona pellucida and picking up a healthy sperm and injecting that sperm into the egg directly through the zona pellucida with the help of a needle under a microscope which magnifies the egg as high as 500 times. ICSI, IVF, they all share same indications. The purpose of IVF and ICSI is to cause fertilization or formation of an embryo in women who are not being able to form such embryos. So people who have tubal damage, people who have eggs and sperms are not coming together or fusing to form an embryo are the best candidates for this. The extra advantages that an ICSI has over a conventional IVF is that ICSI can be performed even with very few sperms or sperms which are retrieved from the testes of the male partner directly because we are injecting the sperm directly into the female egg as opposed to an IVF cycle we need at least 40-50 thousand sperms per human egg. Here we can get a fertilization even if we have one sperm per egg. So this is a fundamental difference. There are other indications also. Nowadays we are also forming embryos because we want to form healthy babies. Now to detect whether the babies are healthy or not we have to do a procedure which is known as pre-implantation genetic diagnosis where we take out cells from the growing embryo, find out whether their cells are healthy or not and then only transfer the embryo back to the female womb. Now this process is only possible when only one sperm is in contact with the egg so as to form an embryo. This is why we do an ICSI in cases where we are doing advanced techniques such as PGD or PGS to detect the health of the, the chromosomal health of the embryo. Other than that, there are other indications also. There is a condition which is known as molar pregnancy where one egg is penetrated by two or three sperms together which leads to an unhealthy pregnancy. In these cases also, injecting one sperm into one egg will ensure that the DNA component of the growing embryo is better and is healthier.